And we arrive at the stop and he just did this. I just saw the middle finger starting to go up and I was already at this door trying to open it. And I was like, <laughs> get the fuck out of the car. And it's very good for us to have this, this idol, but, but by being 100% frank with me, I'm never gonna be like him and I don't wanna be like him. Well, George is George and he chooses his route and he did wonderful things, but I wanna be me. I wanna be the best me I can be. So nice. by being uh, honorable towards myself, I don't wanna be anybody else, okay. you know? Yeah, fair enough. I mean, you do have one thing in common with George that I wanna talk to you about, is that um, you're not a very intimidating guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a nice guy. You look scary when I watch you in, in the cage. Um, but j if I like, if I if somebody was looking for trouble, I'm sure I'm sure you would be a target. Yeah, Guys, but look, they don't like nice. it. Like people people play a role. Like uh, I'm, uh, you could ask my brother for funny stories about it. Uh, I'm never looking for trouble. I'm a reactive person. Okay. I'm not looking for any trouble. But if violence is looking for me, I'm the first one to answer the phone. I'm I'm ready. I, I, I love it, like, cause all the time, like, I got out of my car and there's like a bunch of guys, like, they're flipping me off or whatever. I'm already like trying to open their door. And <laughs> true story. Can so, you tell us, can you tell yeah, us story okay. About so, that long story short, I was at a stop and uh, the guys wouldn't want to advance, and the, the light was green, so I just honked a bit, and there was like four or five guys in the car, big dudes, and uh, I was with my brother and. Uh, I honked a little bit. Your, and they, sorry, your brother's an MMA fighter as well, Yes, right? as well. And he's not as uh, intimidating, intimidating as well. He's a 135er. We're right. both small, uh, young men. <laughs> so I honked and like the guy make a face. I'm like, dude, don't do that. <laughs> you don't want to do that. <laughs> and we arrive at the stop and he just did this. I just saw the middle finger starting to go up and I was already at this door trying to open it. And I was like, get the fuck out of the car. And all the guys, like grown men, were like, yeah. we're not getting out of the car. And I was no. like screaming at them. And uh, yeah, I just... Don't play with me. I'm, I'm a very nice guy. I, I love everybody. But if you start stepping on my toes, there's something like the, all that violence that I... But now, now it's less crazy. I'm, I'm more mature. That happened when I was like 21. So it's been like four years. Now I'm more mature, but I still have my, my, my limits. I'm a very nice guy, but do whatever you want to do. You want to be transgender. You want to be this. You want to be that. I don't care. If, like power to you for choosing what you, who you want to be. Right. But don't push it on me and telling me what I should do to make you feel comfortable, you know? Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to respect everybody. I'm going to do my, my thing, but don't step on my shoes. Yeah, I feel you, man. I feel you. Is that, do you have any other stories for us like that? Because do you ever get approached? It's not on camera, right? Uh, no, no, no. No, one's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no but no, just, just the usual stuff, like just people who, who wants to, you to make them feel comfortable. Like feeling comfortable is, is, in ourselves, it's in words.